Okay, so I don't know how loud this game is. I'm just going to turn down the volume a little bit preemptively, just in cases. Well, let's get this started. Let's give this a try. I'm excited. Thanks again, Zachariox. Hell yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh yeah, definitely want this tutorial. Oh, you can choose the gender of the narrator? Oh, hella. Subtitles? Okay. General settings, uh, language, voices, game settings. That's the volume. Did I miss it? Oh no, that's just the controls. Graphics. Okay. Deactivate all auto saves. No, I'll keep those. Oh, wait. No, I thought I saw it, but I didn't. Okay. I don't see it there. Is it on here? I I hope they're automatic. I want. I'm curious about the. I want to. I'm curious about both. game. Game settings. Oh, I misread attributes and subtitles. That's what oh, there it is. It's checked off. Excellent. Okay, it's there. Okay. Okay. An archer cannot shoot if an enemy is adjacent, except if the latter is stunned, frozen, or knocked over. Good to know. But you shall not pass. Back for the young day. Well, that looks like it's loud. Oh, of course, that closes it out. Cool, great, I love it, thanks. Uh, let me just put it to the same area. There we go. First chapter. Oh my god, I skipped it. A feeling it. of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf. Well, you know, just a dwarf. A dwarf. Together they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon here. of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. P the ogre just a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? We must find the twelfth statuette of Dralfura. A statuette? It's written in the Tablets of Skellis that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of twelve statuettes wrapped in hair. <laughs> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaralbak and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, yeah money. Not before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Okay, ah. let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! 
Hmm. Maybe his powers are even greater than mine. Sounds about right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs, and goblins. Hey, goblins. Underground trolls, warlocks, I don't like knights, them. mutant I don't like rats, goblins. bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level cap. Anyway, let us go forth. All right, moving the party around is easy. Just click anywhere on the ground with left click. You can also hold it. Oh, lead the party. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, this is neat. Okay. Deeper, let's go into the dungeon. Halt! You arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Oh. Hmm. All those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glowing seal. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Ooh, shiny, pretty. Probably I think the elf is my favorite. We have to dispel. I wonder no, why. I'm fucked over by some goddamn <laughs> door. My cousin Kringly always says. If it's magic, hit it harder! This is so no, cute! I really like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my head. You fucking mor- Where are they? Shit! Hey! Dwarf! Elf! Dang it! Did everybody get lost but me? What was that noise? All right, good that you know the basics. Oh, okay. Find our party members. Okay. This gate is closed off. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Okay. Get to find our friends. Look, he walks with such swagger. Oh, damn it, an orc. And Q and E got it. Of course, I'm alone. This is the perfect opportunity to discuss the matter of combat, a crucial subject when adventuring in mysterious dungeons. Okay. Open door! Gotta go! Me eat bad, go tripe! Yikes. No, and tripe is, well, bad. I don't like tripe. I think it's Sounds gross. Like anyway, be cool. He's alone. This shouldn't be a problem. Now let's walk up to him and say hi. How's it going? I hear you have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Every character has two action points. They can perform an action and move once per turn. They can also move further by using both action points, sacrificing their action. This is sprinting. Order is not a problem. This means you can move then attack, or the opposite. Be careful, as some actions will end your turn even if your character still has two action points. Okay. This orc looks rather distracted. Move the ranger on one of the three tiles behind him. Let's choose this one. As you can see with this orc, the orientation of the character is important. Backstabbing gives higher precision and will do more damage. Orient yourself towards the orc to backstab him. Okay. Wait. Oh, I had to click. Okay. Time to attack. Select the melee attack in the action bar. Okay. Here, you'll find an overview of the afflictions and status effects, which can affect characters and their durations in turns. You can also check this box, their dodge value in percentage, their protection value, their level, and their threat level. This means the orc is suffering from a penalty to his characteristics for two turns. Here are the details of your precision. This is very important. As you can see, a positioning bonus, or you have a positioning bonus because you are standing behind the enemy. However, if your attack succeeds, your enemy may still dodge or parry your blow. It's not just about having high precision. Ah, yes! Attack the orc and kick his ass! Okay, now you're speaking my language. Let's go. Sick. Sick damage. The orc is not feeling good. Use T or the middle mouse wheel on him to access details about his statuses and afflictions. The orc is weakened. This means 
he is less efficient now that he's all banged up. His precision, physical resistance, and magical resistance are worse. There are three weakness thresholds, depending on the character's health. If a character's health bar changes color, this means they're weakened. This panel also shows you... Oh, this shows... I can read. <laughs> this panel also allows you to see the detailed afflictions which affect the character. Here, it's a penalty of minus one to movement for a duration of two turns. Now, kill the orc. Okay. Okay. Magic not good. Got him. Victory! Oh, that's cool. At the end of combat, all characters gain some experience. They gain a baseline share just for having participated to the combat and a varying amount depending on their actions or their luck. A character who goes unconscious during combat will suffer a small penalty to their experience gain. The ranger has lost some health points. Heal him by giving him a potion or with the party heal button. Health does not regenerate. So you'll have to be sure to heal your wounds after combat. Okay. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Oh. Hey. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, he, he's... Uh, I mean, they're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, which sent them all running. Are you alright? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? It's because of that moronic dwarf. He must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> oh, we'll need his act if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... Even the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around <laughs> here. Right, we found the elf. Hooray. This is a door that, okay. No, can't open that. <laughs> I like the way that they're moving. The movements are fun. Can we go to the toilets? <gasps> we can! Oh, they are disgusting. Wow. Wait, is that treasure or is that just flies? That's just flies. Ah, here's the thief. Yippee! Plus, he's not the dwarf. Silence. You'll get us spotted. There are orcs in this room, and they've got bows and arrows. We need to devise a plan. Okay, I got a plan. You attack them <laughs> while I stand guard, just in case somebody ambushes us. Listen, thief. Yeah, sounds like something a coward no. would say to avoid a fight. Absolutely not. It's very rational behavior. I've got a bow, too. I can shoot arrows. Yikes. Another good reason to take cover. When you're behind an obstacle, you're less likely to get hit. Even by friendly fire. Well, I've got no choice if we want to move ahead. We've got to get rid of those orcs. How many are there? I can only see one of them right now. But the others must be close. I got you. A group of one. I hate people who make a fuss over nothing. When fighting alone, charging head-on is fine. But when in a group, a battle must be planned. Hmm. Careful positioning can save you from crushing defeats. Good to know. During the planning phase, you can deploy your characters before combat starts. You can position your characters in the highlighted area. Movement doesn't cost action points during the planning phase, so you can take as long as you want to strategize. Uh, select the elf. Got it. Have her take cover in the highlighted tile to protect her, which also makes sense. Oh yeah, very XCOM. I see that now. Okay, now select the ranger. Oh, this guy. Have him take half cover. All right, problem. Now select the thief. Position him on one of the highlighted tiles. Oh, I gotta change the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, that feels nice. Here's the order of action. Uh, initiative is ranked depending on the character's courage. If the courage is equivalent, the higher agility is prioritized. The level of... Oh, gosh. Okay. 
if the characters are the same, then it's up to chance. Okay. Click on fight. Let's fight. Look out. This orc is in overwatch, which means he's keeping an eye on the area and will attack enemy that enters it. What? That makes sense. Since he has not moved before, going into overwatch, he can make two overwatch shots. Oh, ow. Let's not do that. Delaying your turn. The ranger could move forward, but this would get him shot. Time to talk about the ability to delay your turn. A character has not used any action points. They can delay their turn to play at the end of the round. They will act at their normal initiative at the following turn. It's a useful ability when you'd like to let another character, friend, or foe act before you do. Now delay the ranger's turn. Where's... Ah, oh, here it is. Uh, delayed! The turn is delayed. The thief is not the toughest, or even the bravest. He kind of sucks. But he can dish out a lot of damage and interfere with your foes. Time to get rid of this. Oh, it just went to the next one. Okay. This is the overwatch area. The enemy is watching. If one of your characters enters this area, they'll be targeted by an overwatch shot. A character who has entered overwatch mode without moving before. Oh, which we know. They can shoot twice. They said that. Uh, if a character in overwatch takes damage or if an enemy moves right next to him, their overwatch will be canceled. Oh, you can cancel it. Oh, that's cool. During movement, you can set some waypoints by holding left control and pressing left click. This will give you the ability to determine a specific path for your character instead of the suggested path. If the movement area becomes orange, this means you will sprint. Sprinting will allow you to move further, but will consume both your action points and end your turn. Move your thief closer by setting waypoints on the highlighted tiles to cancel the orc's overwatch. You can also use alt to make all active overwatch zone appears. appear. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. So he's skirting around it. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I can see the bit of a, of a learning curve, but it's interesting. I like it. I definitely see the uh, the commonalities between this game and Overwatch for sure. Or not Overwatch. Ugh, we were just talking about that move. I mean, XCOM. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mouse over the highlighted title. Uh, aiming arcs. Usually, archers cannot shoot if an enemy is at melee range. Okay. Move the elf to the highlighted tile so she can shoot the orc. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, standard ranged attack. And then aim at this guy. Friendly fire. Oh, there's a chance to shoot them. Oh, that's funny. Well, I didn't hurt the thief, so that's great. Now that the orc's vigilance has been cancelled, you can safely move the ranger forward on the highlighted tile. Oh, I oh the orientation. Okay. That takes some getting used to. Got it. Attack! Now, let's talk about support. This is a crucial mechanic. When an ally is orientated towards your target, like the thief here, they will provide you with their support. Usually, support will gain you a 5% bonus to your precision. You can stack multiple supports, but only with melee attacks. Characters with high charisma will gain a higher bonus to their precision for every supporting character. Here, the ranger has a 9% bonus to his precision instead of 5%, thanks to his charisma. Finally, as support does not require an action, a character can support an attack even if they have already taken their turn for this round. Keep that in mind when orientated, orientated, orientating your characters. Okay. All right, let's attack. Go. Yeah. Ah. 
Oh, attack of opportunity. Yes. Yes! The d and I love it. Wrong move! The orc just took two opportunity attacks to the face when fleeing. Each character controls the three tiles in front of them. If an enemy leaves this area, they will be hit by an opportunity attack. This type of attack deals slightly less damage than a normal attack, but cannot be dodged or parried. It can still miss, however. Be mindful of opportunity attacks when planning your moves. Oh, he dodged. Nice. End combat to move on. What? Oh, I just have to win the fight. He's on Overwatch, is he? No. Nice. Victory! Ooh, loot. Huh, a lame-ass bow, huh? <laughs> oh, and it gives you the stats down here, kind of behind me. You can hardly see you. It's like, I guess I like this. <laughs> guess you could use it as a fishing rod? Because it's a lame-ass bow? I'll take it all. We did, thanks to my perfect planning. Let's keep going. The others can't be that far. Oh, there's nothing else to interact in this room? Okay. Oh, there we go. Finally, there you are! Yeah, well, we had to fight off hordes of orcs to get here. Bloodthirsty and cunning orcs, mind you. And you wouldn't believe the stink in those toilets. Uh, you're losing me. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. It looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. <laughs> Let's see. There must be some kind of mechanism somewhere. Levers can be far from the mechanism they activate. Investigate the room for a lever to free the ogre. You can use... Okay. Oh, there it is. Found it! Here we go, it's opening! To the body, yippee! Aw, I'm happy too, buddy. Might have expected him to bend the bars. He was too anxious to be on his own. Ogres are very sensitive. All the cumbersome stuff the party finds usually ends up stashed in the ogre's bag because he's the strongest. Since it's rather impractical to rummage through, we've come up with an interface for you. Oh. Now open the inventory to check out contents of the ogre's bag. The ogre is the one who carries all your inventory. But each character has their own equipment on the left. There is a weight limit to your inventory, so you can't just carry everything around with you. That doesn't that doesn't align with my hoarding habits. <laughs> uh, look, the bow you found in your last combat. Now so rich, check out its characteristics. The lame ass bow. There's damage, precision. Critical chance and critical damage. Main and secondary weapons. Each character can be equipped with a main weapon and a secondary weapon, with the exception of the ogre and the wizardess, who only have one weapon slot. The ranger can equip a bow as a secondary weapon. Equip the bow you just found with right click equip or by dragging it. Ooh, I want to drag it. Nice. You can navigate between characters by clicking on their portraits. Oh, what a happy looking fellow. A character gets injured when they become unconscious during combat or take too much damage from a trap. Move the cursor over the ogre's injury to get more information. Injuries are permanent attribute penalties. 
It can be healed with specific consumables. Or by resting at a tavern. Oh, there's taverns in this game? Oh, that's cool. You will suffer the penalty associated with the injury as long as it's not healed. If a character falls in combat again while still wounded, the injury gets worse. There are three wound thresholds. Oh no. Use a bandage from your inventory to heal this nasty looking injury. Use the bandage. You can use left click or click and drag the bandage with left click directly on the injury. Okay, cool. Get back to the game with escape whenever you're ready. Okay. Well, I found some writing materials in his bag. I should be able to map the dungeon now. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going, although I'm pretty used to most players fucking around by clicking ah! haphazardly. <laughs> I did not expect that. The wizardess is in charge of the dungeon map and the quest journal. Open it to learn more. Okay. Oh, what a pretty drawing. What is it? Elf, please. <laughs> the quest journal is on the left. Here, you can not only find the objectives to your main quest, but also to your secondary quests. The map is on the right. You can use it to get your bearings around the dungeon, and it will be updated throughout your progress. Okay. I hear something. Someone's coming. Go check it out. Why should it be me? Rangers are usually the scouts. Coward! Yes, sir. It's a perfectly honorable life choice. Time for lunch, guys! Come on! Grab time! Zug zug. Intruders. Let's eat them too! Maybe I could go back to the inn to ask for help. Shut up. We got no use for whips. You have to fight like everybody else. Alright, time to fight! Oh, it's the planning phase. Well, there's not much cover here. I mean, there's cover there. Does that cover count? Oh, well, let me. Oh, now that you've gathered some of your party, your characters have unlocked their first skills, which will prove useful to defeat these orcs. Okay. The ranger is a jack of all trades. Range attack supports, heals. He has a lot of options. Select one of his tactical skills to learn more. Uh, charge. Here you'll find useful information about your skills. Every skill costs stamina and has a cooldown period. You'll gain back some stamina at the beginning of every turn. You can check the regen value by moving the cursor over the stamina bar. Okay. The ranger at level 1 can use tactics. These skills can influence all your allies, no matter where they are on the map. Once activated, a tactic will stay active until the end of combat or until the ranger dies. Only one tactic can be active at any time. If you choose to use another, it will cancel the effects of the first one. Tactic Charge is an offensive buff, while Tactic Defensive Maneuver is a defensive one. Select and use tactic that you wish to have during this battle. Uh, yeah, let's charge. Charge! Charge. Charge. Charge? Wait. Raises precision of all allies until the end of combat. Only one tactic might be active at the same time. Go for the eyes! There we go. Now move your ranger to the highlighted tile. Ogre is your most brutal character. However, he is not that accurate. That's why he could use some support from your other characters. Oh, and he doesn't really like wearing armor. The ogre has the Kadula Opog skill. In Orgish, it means please mind my personal space. Get closer to the orc in order to use it. I like that. Okay. Padula of Pog can push an enemy back to tiles. Since the ranger is oriented towards your target, the orc will, be, will also be targeted by an opportunity attack if he's pushed back. Attack the orc. Ooh, okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, good teamwork. The wizardess in your area... Oh, is your area of effect specialist. She is frail, but her powerful attacks can hit multiple enemies simultaneously. Some of her attacks can also inflict some powerful status effects, like burning or frozen. There's an archer. First things first, let's take cover. At level 1, the wizardess has two spells under her belt. A cure, Manor Wounds, and the formidable Waza's Whirlwind. Spells cost astral energy and also have a cooldown period. Oh, hi, Froggy. Welcome. Uh, you'll get some astral energy back at the beginning of every turn. You can check the regen, regen value by moving the cursor over the astral energy bar. Select the whirlwind and let's check it out. Oh, the wizardess is Felicia Day. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, hell yeah. Waza's Whirlwind is an area of effect spell, which means it can also hurt your friends. Be careful where you cast it. Aim for the highlighted uh, highlighted tile so it can hit multiple orcs simultaneously. Toga, swala, both waza! The thief's level 1 skill is the sneaky strike. This attack can dish out a lot of damage, but only if your target is facing away from you. Well, it's the first time you've been here this stream, I think, so welcome, Froggy. Also, happy holidays to you. I'm glad you could make it before Christmas, so I could say you can, I could wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all that good stuff. Alright. Since there are no orcs in range facing away from you, delay your turn and let them act first. Okay. Okay. Nadja has arrived. Hello, Nadja. The elf is exposed. She's a frail character. Position her behind cover with the wizardess so you can protect her from the archer who's about to act. Okay. What you doing, Nadja? Stop it. Ja. Gosh. Gosh. Okay. The elf skill is Elven Ricochet. It's a highly sophisticated technique which will randomly hit up to two targets in a two-tile radius around the last target. Select the Elven Ricochet. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, shoot the orc on the highlighted tile to have a good chance of hitting the other orcs. Be careful, as it might also hit your friends. It is an Elven technique, after all. What is that supposed to mean? What the heck? Whoa, whoa! Wrong target! Whoopsies. I just unlocked an achievement that says Sawi. I'm Sawi. Oh shit. He only has 2 HP. Finally, an orc is vulnerable to your sneaky strike. Or right, let's sneaky strike him. Now, use your sneaky strike on this fool. Strikes down without a sound. Next, he's down. Now I'll finish this combat as you see fit. Okay, well, if I see fit, then wait. Hold your ground. Help defend the guy. He only has two HP, but I'm gonna like get rid of this guy. Right. Take some cover. Take some cover. Okay, yeah, that works for me. What is this? Oh, cure minor wounds! Yeah, heal your friend! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, that worked great! And you could stay there, I think, so... Yeah, I don't know why you would move, so yeah, just hang out, I guess. I guess that's that. Yeah, this guy's out of range. Can you attack him? Does he have a lot of health? That's so hard. Oh, he's kind of at full health. Okay. Okay, maybe not attack. Maybe just, like, 
hang out here. I don't- wait, no, the orientation is bad. <laughs> Show your ass to the enemy. It's fine. It's fine. Got a range? Okay. How do I know... How close she can move? So it looks like he's just out of range. So I guess maybe I'll have her wait? Oh, but he's also ranged. <laughs> he's running! What a dick! Do you move within range at least? No. I guess Overwatch. Yeah, you can Overwatch. Why not? So you have to click it and then click her? Or no, I messed up with her. That's weird. I have to get used to that. I'm not used to, like, that. <laughs> um, Can I attack him? No? I guess he's out of range. Oh, you can- oh, but you have a ranged attack. Okay, do it. Ah! Ooh, that was a good hit. Okay. You have your hit magic attack hit? No. But I'll put you in Overwatch, in the facing the right direction. That'll be useful. Can you attack? No. Oh, but I can put you over here, which has cover, and I'll have you pointing the right direction this time. Okay, you can't attack, but I'll, I'll put you in defense. You could be in defensive mode. Can you hit him now? No, he's like just out of range. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna have you do Overwatch, but facing the right direction as well. <laughs> Shoot him! Finish him off! <laughs> Hell yeah, the lame-ass bow did work! Ooh. Chair canner armbands. Okay. How many health potions do I have? I actually, I don't know. He only took a little damage, though. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Wow. What a fight. Still, those orcs weren't in fighting shape. I think they were running from something. If that's the case, so should we. Enough defeatism. Let's go! We still have to find the Dwarf and the Barbarian! Oh, so if I can move it within the enemy's blue range, I can also attack? That makes sense? So if it's like a melee character, the melee character doesn't have to be in his face, he could just move into the blue range, and then it'll zip him the rest of the way? If that's the case, okay. Oh, I just realized that WASD also works to move them. That's great! Come on, have a taste of my act, you orc scum. There's one dwarf yet in this dungeon who still draws breath. Yes, we kicked your face in. You're lucky we're here. You're in over your head. Nothing's over my head. I'm tall for a dwarf. Hm. Your friends are in danger. The dwarf and barbarian are in a tough spot. You have to help them before they get overwhelmed. You can still access your inventory during the planning phase to equip items. Uh... Oh, the ranger. Crap, what a mess. What is this? Oh, there you go. Ooh, and it adds it to the character. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Now that the ranger is equipped with a secondary weapon, he has a new tactical option. He performed ranged attacks. Okay. 
Who do I want him to help out? Yeah, maybe go over here. And then shoot them with your bow. Ooh, nice. The Barbarian is a powerful, nimble fighter. He can move a little further than his companions, and he hits hard. However, his protection is rather low, and his precision is not that good. The good thing with the Barbarian is that he's rather straightforward. He can, his first skill, Steel Barrage, targets all three tiles in front of him. Oh shit. Oh hell yeah. Ooh. Another one bites the dust. Leaving this spot is still too dangerous for now, as you would be hit by too many opportunity attacks. You don't have uh you don't have much choice there, so you should end your turn. Okay. Oh, that didn't hurt. Your enemies have skills too. Those orcs can knock you down. Although there's a chance to resist this thanks to your physical resistance, a knocked down character will skip their turn and is easier to hit. Oh, but he got knocked down. He fell down! <laughs> Our dwarf is a noble descendant of Gurdil, shiny ass, and as such was predestined to an adventurer's life. He has hit enough point or he has enough hit points to endure the charge of a rabid troll, but is rather slow. He loves heavy armor, shields, and gold coins. The dwarf is in trouble. Weakened and surrounded, he may very well die before the next turn if you leave him like this. Time to talk about defensive stance. Uh, select it. The, de blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the defensive stance raises your character's protection and lowers, lowers the precision of any enemy attacking you until next turn. It will also protect them from critical hits. However, a character who is de in defensive stance cannot perform any opportunity attacks. Defensive stance can be cancelled if the character gets stunned, knocked over, or scared. Select it then use it on the dwarf to protect him from the incoming attacks. Okay. The shortest path to your companions is blocked by crates. Thankfully, some elements of the environment can be destroyed. Oh, hell yeah. Let's destroy. Okay. Um, maybe have... Yeah, you can rush up to help our fallen friend. Oh shit. You just got hit by a critical hit and the barbarian is now unconscious. He's not fully out of action yet, but you have a limited number of turns to rescue him with a healing spell or potion. Beware, a character who's fallen unconscious in battle will suffer from an injury. Wizardess has a cure of minor wounds. It's not a powerful spell. Well, it is actually pretty awesome, though. Use it! Ooh, and he gets up. That's awesome. Um. Yeah, maybe go here. It's more centralized. That's how you Immobilization. These enemies can immobilize you with a crippling strike. An immobilized character can still act normally, but cannot cannot move anymore. They're also easier to hit. Where do I want to put the thief? Maybe I'll try here. No. Oh. <laughs> Orientation's a little bad. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> um, sure. I made an oopsie, didn't I? I mean, I think it worked out. Oh, there's another guy? Oh, heck. Ah, beans! Take this! 
Chicken shit. <laughs> Chicken shit. Oh my god. Amazing. We oh, can't do that move again. That would have been nice, though. Okay, so it looks like this guy will die. Oh, 65% chance. Okay, well, yeah, get rid of that guy. There you go. Yeah, CAC charge. Deals damage and knocks over your target. I like the sound of that. Can I not use it? No? Okay. I can't attack? Oh, he's immobilized. Oh, I see. Well, fine. Oh, he missed. That would have been cool if it worked, though. Okay, so the range is too far. Okay, I'll have you go there. We'll have you cast a little zappy zap. Didn't do very much damage, but it looks hella cool. If he goes there, he can attack. Sure. Probably not ideal for a thief, but... Any damage helps. There you go. Now go take cover. Go take cover about it. Ugh. Regular missile? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Your enemies are fleeing. They will try to run to the yellow area that just appeared. If they make it, you will earn less experience. In some battles, there won't be a retreat area and they'll try to fight their they'll try to fight to their last breath. Stop them before they reach the retreat area. Okay, well that guy's going to have so many opportunities of attacks against him. He's Is this guy still immobilized? No, I guess he can move. Not good. Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well. That ends that. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, the ogre could use. I'm gonna give the ogre health. There you go. You need it. Everyone else is, seems they're like a little hurt, but they're just a little hurt. It's fine. Got a dodgy pot, boots of strategic retreat, immuniter, universal antidotes, I imagine for poison, and more health potions. I like that. Look out. It's a weirdo. Old dude <laughs> it's a weirdo. A wizard. It looks more like a broom. Uh, hello? Hey, pay no attention to me. In fact, you shouldn't even be able to see me. It's just my invisibility ring acting up again. He's a wizard. He looks more like a janitor. That's very reductive. 
I'm the head cleaning operative of this dungeon's mortuary maintenance, Janos Hitor. I deal with the corpses left behind by adventurers. The smell would get unbearable without me. He's, He's very casual. His orc, if you don't mind. I don't. As long as the floor stays clean, and it means less work for me. The floor is crawling with bugs. We're looking for a way to the next floor. Usually, people like to take the stairs. Yes, but there are some magic locks. Really? Didn't notice them. I must be immune thanks to a spell of mine which enables me to go wherever blood has been spilt. We could make him take it to the dungeon, master. Yes, take us with you. Nuh-uh. -uh. No time for such threats. Got work to do. A wizard. That was a wizard. He realized he should withdraw with haste. Who's this haste guy? <laughs> Who's haste? Why did he leave with him? <laughs> Any consumable you find can be equipped on your character's belts from your inventory. Move forward in the dark hallways of the dark in the dungeon of Nahulbek. Very cool. Okay. This game is cool. I really like the style of it. And I think once I get the hang of how things work, strategy-wise, that would be really interesting. I like it. And the humor is a lot of fun, too. Thank you again, Zachary Ox, for this game. This game is neat. I may I may absolutely have to play some more. It, I don't know. I feel it's a little... Hmm. It's one of the reasons why like, I didn't play uh, XCOM on stream, because strategy games, I... I take forever to make decisions <laughs> and I feel like if this gets really into it and there's a lot of strategic moves that have to be made, it might just be me like silently staring at the screen being like, hmm, hum, ha. <laughs> and I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'll have to check to see if I could save. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Hell yeah. A new adventure begins or begin. Okay. But yeah, I'll have to try this more. I'll probably, I'll probably absolutely play this again on stream, maybe in the new year. So I love the humor. It's so good. It's so heckin' good. Okay. But yeah, I played for, oh gosh, an extra 30 minutes, because I know things kind of got a little slow there. What with uh, downloading it and <laughs> the big boy All gang. All this cosmic energy we emit during idle waits will contribute to global magical warming. Calm down, Felicia. Calm down. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. This game is great. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Um, I hope it's a great one. I really do. Next week, I should be back to my normal streaming schedule. So Monday night, I will be streaming at my usual time. And Thursday, I should be streaming at my usual time. I'll have to decide uh, what I stream. I know Monday. Monday, I'll be doing Monster Rancher for the second, uh, I guess the third, third day. Phoebe's adventure will continue. But what will I stream on Thursday? Maybe more of this game? Maybe. Maybe something else? We'll see. I'll uh, keep everybody posted on my Discord. Speaking of, if you've been following and you've enjoyed what you've seen, please consider giving me a follow. I really do appreciate it. I post my schedule on most of my social media, so feel free to join my Discord. We'd love to have you there. Or you can follow me on Twitter. On the front of Twitter, I am currently having a model reveal for my new model that I hope to use in the new year. And there is a chance to get a early sneak peek. So if you'd like an early sneak peek, pop over to my Twitter, spare a like or a retweet, and it'll help toward the goal of reveals. I think the next reveal is skirt, is the skirt. And like I said before, I'm really excited to show off the skirt. I, I love, I love, I love the skirt so, so, so much. So. And aside from that, oh. Thank you again, everybody, for hanging out. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you for the follows. And yeah, I will send you on to someone who is streaming here. Oh, let's see. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, heck yeah. All right, I got my target. Looks like they're in the middle of a game. 
Thanks, Ekriox. I will see you all on Monday. I'm going to send you to Asabora, who is playing Phasmophobia. Nothing like a little horror during Christmas time. <laughs> so, thanks again, everybody. I'll send you his way. Take care. Be nice. Um, let me just, uh, actually, now that we're here, we could use this. All subscribers, you could use the Spooky Lurk. And if you're not subscribed, you could use the Raid Emote. Let me just do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, and there's the non subscriber rated thing. So, yeah, I'll send you there. Thanks again. Have a great week. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I'll see you later.